instead of responding emotionally to something that's being said, that they took two seconds to figure out what it is that was being spoken of, look deeper into that, then they would be informed and they wouldn't have to just react to something. They could better respond. Is Brother Ben here? Brother Ben. Now, Ben got a heck of a program. A lot of people listening to Brother Ben. And Ben tells them about the minister. And Ben tells them about the minister. What's happening? There he is in the house. Salam alaikum, brother. What's going on? Alaikum salam. I know you've been doing your series of videos, man. Get your thoughts on this. We talking, we talking about yay all together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We talk about yay, or, or, or I don't know if you tuned into the uh, YK Osiris, but those are the two topics. Righteous. All right, so I'll I keep as brief as I can, family. I, I say both of those go hand in hand. You know, you know, you and I, we have some type of understanding of spirituality. I'm real spiritual when it comes to what people call it spiritual. And it's a, it's a lot of that light and dark going on right now, black versus white, as far as the darkness versus the light going on right now. What I think is interesting, though, when it comes to the Kanye situation is if people just took two seconds, uh, Brother Ben, if people just took two seconds, instead of responding emotionally to something that's being said, if they took two seconds to figure out what it is that was being spoken of, look deeper into that, then they would be informed and they wouldn't have to just react to something. They could better respond. And what I found is that if people don't do that, if there are people who move in the shadows who want to destroy somebody, destroy their image, destroy whatever it is that they're associated with, we make it easier for them if, like Ye said, in war, they'll send your own people at you. If we respond in such a way or react in such a way, rather, that we attack the person versus looking into what they actually said, then we'll make it easier if there are people who said it not to destroy it for whatever reason that it is. So we got people like, the, you know, they took down the Ye interview. We saw that. We, you might, I watched the whole interview myself. They took it down. No, you know, he had his reasons as to why they did that and all of that. But what I noticed that it was something else that just came out where they were tying Ice Cube into it. And they were saying, yo, like, Ice Cube was saying, I, I don't have nothing to do with that. And the way that they presented it was that they were saying that Ice Cube set him up to be anti-Semitic and say anti-Semitic things. And he was finishing the groundwork. That's how they literally quoted it. And what I'm looking at is that he didn't say anything anti-Semitic in a tweet. He didn't say anything anti-Semitic when they said that he had the anti-Semitic rhetoric. All he was doing was pointing out things that people either know about or don't know about when it comes to the fact that it's not just a specific uh, uh, quote-unquote race of people that can even be deemed that in today's day and time. But now if Ice Cube didn't watch the inter interview himself, and they try to pull him into the anti-Semitic conversation, of course he's going to push back and be like, nah, bro, like, I don't know what you got going on with anti uh, all that anti-Semitic. Now, I'm going to leave it with this. Before the last two weeks, then nobody, most people didn't even know what anti-Semitic was. Like, <laughs> let's just be for real. Before the last two weeks, people didn't know what that was. And before the White Lives Matter shirt popped out, it wasn't too much noise surrounding Black Lives Matter either. It wasn't too many people making no type of noise about BLM. So the problem is, People aren't using their own mind. People aren't taking their own steps forward to be like, yo, what is he actually talking about? That's why I was in one of these rooms. They said DEF CON 3. I said, what is that? What is a DEF CON? And people were getting upset with me because I was asking a real question. I said he had to have mis either misspelled it because he didn't know how to spell what he was saying, or he was using some type of microphone mechanism and, and, and it didn't pick up. But what wound up happening is they ran with that death word yep. so that it could seem like that was some type of terroristic threat versus if you look at what death con actually is, it's more of like a, I have to defend myself. It's a defense mechanism that the military has been using for decades. Yep. You feel me? So my holler is I stand with Ye for the simple fact that I know how this goes and I know one day I'm going to be in that, you know, saying seat where, you know, people probably going to be having this type of conversation about what I'm doing. But we, you know how this goes, family. God wins. They, the, the devil did win. God wins in the end, and there's going to be a lot of war that comes after this. So shout out to you. Yes, sir, brother. Appreciate it. I want you to think with an abundance mindset, no less than $10,000 a month. I want that to be your goal, no less than $10,000 a month.
See, successful people got a routine. The reason we're not successful is because we don't got no routine. We getting up every day, every morning, and we don't even know what we're doing today. Digital real estate has honestly changed my entire life, changed my business, changed the way I think about business, changed the way I think about my life in general. Like I got screenshots of my insights doing 943% better than the week before. Wow. All because of the stuff that I utilized from the digital real estate program. Her eight year old son was making $1,000 a week. Man, I need to tap into whatever this program is. The clarity of what digital real estate is. It's like physical real estate, but on the digital side. Doing what Brother Ben told us to do in digital real estate, I watched my numbers grow. You were explaining how I can take things that I think are normal, just really based things that I do on a daily basis, and say, hey, that's content. He broke down on how to monetize your actual content and your intellectual content and monetize it and actually live off of it. Many people believe that digital real estate is selling homes online, but that's not what it is. The scripture says your gift will make room for you and bring you amongst great men. That's, that's what the program is doing. It's mining the gems that are already inside of you and bringing that out and helping you understand what your value is. So what the digital real estate program does is tap into your gift, your skills, your purpose, your talent, and shows you how to scale it online through impact. You coaches are bar none acceptable. Now I ain't got no mic like y'all, but y'all see this pen? <laughs> it's dropped, okay? I made $2,000. Oh, come on. In three days. People don't understand. You, you got to get this course. I started to learn the power of social media because uh, before being on social media, I was just doing that, being social. It really transformed my life. We had uh, close to a $20,000 month and then we had a $10,000, close to a $10,000 month. And Ben is up here blessing people game, giving people free game. I don't know why y'all have not listened to this man yet, have not invested in yourself by getting his digital real estate platform. Now, Ben got a heck of a program. A lot of people listening to Brother Ben. I believe we shouldn't focus on passive income. We should focus on passive impact because the more people we impact, the more income will come. Y'all heard of Ben X? <laughs> no, I heard of Ben X. <laughs> He's one of the younger brothers. Ben, ben X. Ben, Ben. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen that name somewhere. Yeah. I've seen that name. Allah has imposed on all of his creatures the duty of doing something for self. You think I'm still I love you, man.